Hello everyone and welcome to Neoplasm Coding. I just wanted to take a few minutes and highlight some of the key elements of Neoplasm Coding. Hopefully you're finding these live um, mini lecturettes helpful. So neoplasms are coding are classified according to their behavior. We have malignant and benign. So all neoplasms are not cancerous, right? Cancer is not synonymous with neoplasm. If we break down the word neoplasm just means new growth. So what kind of growth? Well, we can have malignant, which is cancerous, or benign, which is non-cancerous. -can so when we're coding, we need to know the anatomical site and vibes. And so where is the tumor or the neoplasm growing? And then we need to know the histology or the morphology, the kind of tumor that's growing, the kind of neoplasm that's growing, like uh, leukemia or melanoma, adenocarcinoma. Some terminology, you guys are probably all familiar with this, but I just wanted to go over Malignant means that the tumor or the neoplasm can invade and destroy healthy tissue and it can spread to distant sites. In situ is cells are malignant, but they're all together confined in, into the tumor. It hasn't spread, it hasn't moved outside of its shell. And benign is that the growth doesn't spread out and invade adjacent structures or get in the bloodstream and move to distant sites like we see with metastatic cancers. Then we have uncertain behavior and unspecified nature. So uncertain means that the pathologist cannot determine if it's benign or malignant, usually because there's characteristics of both. Then we have unspecified, and that's when the physician has not told us the histology. They have not told us if it's malignant or benign. So if that's the case, just stop right there and don't code it. Never code something like that. Um, you don't wanna give a patient a diagnosis of cancer if he or she doesn't have it, right? So I've never in my life coded an unspecified nature. I have seen uncertain behavior if the local pathologist was unsure and they sent it out, say, to the Mayo Clinic for consult, but Bottom line is you want that pathology report when you're coding, you want to confirm that diagnosis. So a primary site is where the neoplasm originated. A secondary site is where that neoplasm has infiltrated or invaded. And with secondary sites, there might be more than one, right? Lung cancer likes to go to the brain, um, but it could also go to the colon, um, to other areas. So when we're talking about metastas metastasis or metastatic cancer, that means that the cancer has spread, right? It's invaded other tissues. And we can have direct extension, meaning it's an adjacent tissue or adjacent structure, like let's say the patient had ovarian cancer and now it went to their fallopian tubes. That's adjacent because they're right next to each other. It could be where the Mets have moved to local lymph vessels. Lots of times in breast cancer patients, the, the cancer will move to the axillary lymph nodes, right? And then we also have invasion of local blood vessels or implantation where the tumor has completely shed itself into a body cavity, maybe the abdominal cavity or the pelvic cavity um, where it's just lined with, with the tumor or the cancer. So from a coding perspective, how do we code neoplasms? Well, the first thing we do is we look up in our ICD-10 CM codebook, and I want you guys to open that right now to the neoplasm table. Let me grab my book. So in my book, it's red and it's right behind the regular index. So page 382 is where the neoplasm table starts. But I just wanted to explain how this works. So if you guys open up to page actually 383, you'll see the anatomical sites listed in the very left column, and then the type of growth or the type of neoplasm 
in the remaining six columns, okay? So, of course, anatomical site is where you're going to go for the, the location of the tumor. And then we have to say what kind. Was it benign? Was it primary malignant? Was it in situ? Was it secondary malignant? So where was the cancer at? So, for example, if we look on this first column, abdomen, if it was in the abdominal cavity, let's say it was primary, we would see our code is C76.2. If it was a secondary site there, so it had moved from somewhere else to the abdominal cavity, we would code C79.8 for that secondary site, and then we would have to code the primary site in addition. If it was cancer in situ, it would be D09.8. Benign, meaning not malignant, would be D36.7. Then uncertain behavior where, again, they have seen both characteristics of benign and malignant, D48.7. And unspecified, please don't ever code this in your real coding life, is D49.89. So as a coder, you're always going to come here by anatomical site and then scroll over. Make sure you stay in the same row. Right, once you find the column for your anatomical site, you want to stay in the same row and then find if it's malignant primary, secondary, in situ, benign, uncertain, or unspecified, and find your code. Now, again, we, we just can't stop here. Once you find your code in the column, you still verify that code in the index, the tabular. So you would go, so for our, our C79.8, let's flip that. C79.8. So we have to add an additional digit, right? That's what the hyphen's telling us in the table. So for C79.8, we can do C79.81, which is breast, C79.82, genital organs, or C79.89, other specified sites. So you always want to verify the code in the tabular list, even if it doesn't require an extra digit so if it doesn't have the hyphen be behind it you still always verify your code to make sure that code's complete that it matches your scenario that there's not includes and exclude notes so here's just a guide for coding neoplasms you always want to look the morphology of the tumor in the alphabetical index first if the morphology was given to you so again, the morphology is the histology of the tumor. What kind of tumor, right? Cancer is just one thing. There are tons and tons of cancers, right? Basal cell carcinoma, um, adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, small cell lung cancer. So there's tons of different types of cancer. So the morphology just is that, explaining what kind. So if you know what kind, the morphology, you always wanna look that up first. Now, more often than not, the code you want is not under the morphology, but sometimes it is. So the coding guidelines tell us you always check the morphology first. So for example, let's just go to adenocarcinoma. So in your regular alphabetical index, if you just go to A, to adenocarcinoma, <clears throat> which is on page 72, you'll see all, all <coughs> excuse me, the specified types adenocarcinoma. So we have acetophil, adrenocortical, alveolar, apocrine, basal cell, basophil, bile duct. So if you come here um, and look for your site here first and you find it, you don't have to go to the neoplasm table. But if you come here and you do not see your site, then you would then go to the neoplasm table, look it up by site, and then by type there. So once you look up here, then again, you would go um, to the neoplasm table and then you code based on what's going on in the neoplasm table, primary, secondary, in situ. So how do we know if, a, if it's primary or not, right? Or how do we know if it's metastatic? Well, primary is the first site the cancer started. Contiguous means that the cancer is in multiple sites of one organ, and they're not sure which one it started at. Like, 
say it's in the upper lobe of the lung and the lower lobe of the lung, but they're not sure which one it started. Metastatic is when it, it has moved from another site to there. So like from the lung to the brain, from the breast to the bone. So make sure that your terminology is up to par when you're coding these and you understand the definitions of each of these. So the coding conventions are in your book for coding neoplasms, and we're talking about these in our discussions. But I just wanted to highlight a few of these. So they start on page 12 of your CM book and go to page 15. But um, remember, the medical record is always your source documentation. Our number one, number one rule in coding is if it wasn't documented, it didn't happen. So if you don't have that path report documenting the behavior of a neoplasm, don't code it. Of course, in our class, scenarios are going to tell you, but in real life, you're going to need that pathology report to support that diagnosis. If a neoplasm is unknown or undeterminable, the code should not be assigned again until you have that definitive information. Um, malignancy should be coded as primary unless you know it's secondary, unless it's specified secondary. A recurrent malignancy is defined as a new primary lesion located in the same site as a previous primary malignancy. So if it's a recurrent and it's a new tumor at the site of a previous tumor, then you code the primary cancer and a history of because it's a new growth. Even though it's in the same site, it's still new. And then primary malignancy codes are to be used only when the primary site is present or followed chemotherapy or radiation. So say the patient had breast cancer, they removed the breast, but they're still going under chemo. You would still code that as primary because we're currently treating it. Um, if the primary site has been removed and no longer exists, you can code it unless we're, again, getting treatment for it. Um, the contiguous sites, if it's two or more places, right, and they're overlapping, then you code as contiguous. If the primary reason for the encounter is the treatment of the neoplasm, you put the primary first, and then if it's metastatic, you would put that second. If an encounter has both primary malignancy and METs, if the METs are the ones getting the treatment, then that's the primary code, and the primary cancer is the secondary code. So let's do a coding example. I have a 52-year-old female who's admitted with adenocarcinoma of the stomach that spread to the peritoneum. So I'm going to give you just a minute. Okay, so hopefully everyone's going to the table. So in the table, you're going to look <coughs> look up um, stomach. And then under stomach, you want to go to the column for primary, because that's the primary site. And you should see C16.9. And then for the secondary site, it said adenocarcinoma of the stomach with spread to the peritoneum. So then we go to P in the neoplasm table for peritoneum. And you should see C78.6 under the secondary neoplasm site. Make sure you're in the secondary column because it metastasized there from the stomach. So our two codes would be C16.9 and C78.6. I hope you found this helpful. Just a quick review over neoplasm coding.